Have you or your friend ever struggled to get back on a paddleboard? Today, I'm here with Jordana, and we're gonna demonstrate and teach you how to do a flip rescue. Hi, I'm Jordana. I'm a Paddle Canada certified paddleboard instructor and I'm a paddleboard instructor trainer. I'm also a coordinator for Lake Surfistas. We're a group of women who surf and sup the Great Lakes year round. And I'm an ambassador for Tiger Board and for Roxy. Paddleboard flip rescues are a great thing to practice and to know how to do in case of an emergency. So if you need to get somebody back on their board or if somebody just has issues getting back on board. Help a friend out. Help a friend. Yay! A flip rescue is an easy and effective way to get someone out of the water and back on a paddleboard. Before attempting the flip rescue, assess the situation. Ensure that you are in a safe location and there are no immediate dangers around you. In order to perform a flip rescue, the rescuer must be able to climb back on their paddleboard. Check out my full video with tips and three different techniques for climbing back on your paddleboard. Getting back on your paddleboard is an important thing to practice. Approach the person who needs help and ask if they're okay. Check to see if they can get back on their own paddleboard first. If the answer is no, tell them you'll help them get back on their paddleboard with a flip rescue. Take their paddle and put it on your board along with your paddle. While either in the water or on your board, ensure a board is between you. This will help keep you both safe someone who is drowning or panicked could reach out to grab you and pull you under the water. Ask them if they are comfortable moving away from their board while you flip it upside down. If they are not comfortable letting go of their board, push your board to them to hold on while you flip theirs. Flip their board from the tail or nose. While in the water on the opposite side of their paddleboard, you'll ask the person to move or help assist them to the center of their flip board with their arms on the paddleboard and armpits at the rails of the board. Continue to reassure the person and communicate what you're about to do. Climb out of the water onto their flipped paddleboard. Use their arms for balance and leverage to help you get up onto the board. Keeping your leash on, push your board out of the way to ensure you don't land on it. Taking a firm grasp on their forearms, shoulders, hands, or PFD straps kneel or stand and lean back. For more leverage, stand placing your feet closer to the rails of the board furthest from the person you're rescuing. Using your body weight to flip the person over, fall back away from the board with a firm grip on the person. Once the board is flipped, ask them to bring their legs around to the tail or back of the board, or you can help assist them by reaching over their board and grabbing their legs. Once the person has regained their balance on their board from a kneeling or sitting position, hand back their paddle and climb back onto your board. If the person is panicking or exhausted, go through the same flip rescue steps, but with more pauses, reassurance, eye contact, and ask the person to take deep breaths. Once you have performed the flip rescue and the person is too exhausted to paddle back to shore, you may need to tow them. Check out the full video on how to perform a paddleboarding tow. If you come across someone without a board, use the same flip rescue technique using your paddleboard. Remember to keep your board between you and the person you are rescuing. If they have lost their board, they are likely to be panicked and exhausted. Once you have successfully flipped rescued the person onto your board, ask them or help move their legs towards the tail of the board. Keep the person on their belly to ensure a lower center of gravity. The board will be less stable with two people on it. Climb back on the board, placing your knees on either side of the person's legs and paddle back to shore from a kneeling position. Here are a few tips and things to watch out for. Be aware and watch out for the paddleboard fins when flipping the board. Keep your board away from the area where you are performing the flip rescue. Check to ensure it isn't behind you or in the way. Getting onto the flipped paddleboard is the most difficult part. Similar to getting back on your paddleboard, ensure your legs are out behind you, kicking to help propel you up and onto the board. Use the arms of the person you're rescuing to help with leverage and balance. 
If possible, keep both paddle border leashes on, but watch to ensure they don't get caught on the board's fin. Be sure to have a good grip on the person to avoid slipping and falling back. Commit to the motion and follow through for an easier flip. Keep in mind the weight ratio of the person struggling versus the rescuer. A heavier, taller person will have an easier time flipping a board over versus a smaller, petite person. If the rescuer is smaller than the person who needs help, you'll need to perform the flip from a standing position versus kneeling. Push down as close to the rails away from the person as possible and lean as far back using gravity and body weight to your advantage. Gather momentum and perform the flip more quickly. Board types will also come into play when performing a flip rescue. A wider board will take more leverage to flip. Some paddle boards are slipperier than others. If the board you're using to flip is slippery, try and flip from your knees. If you need more leverage, place one knee down and one foot up. Keep in mind you have the arms of the person you're assisting to help stabilize you. Curvier rails can make it trickier to get on the board. Use the arms of the person you're rescuing to help balance. The person being rescued can also slip off or slide into the fins when the board is being flipped. Before performing the flip rescue, ensure they are in the center of the board where the rails are the straightest. Jordana, thanks so much for helping demonstrate a flip rescue. Get out there, have fun, find a friend, and practice. Let us know in the comments what you found the most helpful. Until next time, have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next adventure!